welcome to another episode of Liberate the Nations. My name is Eleonora, and today we're going to be talking about the full moon in Virgo that happens on February 27th, with its peak time of 12.16 a.m., that's for Pacific Standard Time. Virgo is an Earth mutable sign ruled by Mercury, therefore this lunation is possibly going to be concentrating a lot on communication, our mental patterns, how we gather information, and how we rely that information to others as well. So the first aspect we're going to touch on is Pluto and Capricorn while trying Mars and Taurus. This transit aspect to me between Pluto and Mars speaks boss ass bitch energy. <laughs> But it's the potential to get what we want and be assertive and powerful in our execution. But I think both being in earth signs, it brings a lot more grounding than expected, especially with such powerful planets as Pluto and Mars that are very much about action, being combative, and stepping into your power. The second aspect we are touching on is Moon and Virgo is going to trine Uranus and Taurus. So this aspect to me is calling for innovative and new ways to deal with our logical feelings and emotions. This can also be unexpected feelings coming up or lots of mental activity happen during this time. So find grounding with all this earth energy. There is definitely a potential of releasing the right things in new ways or in ways that we haven't um, tried before or are not used to. Last but not least, we do have the Sun in Pisces, sextile, Uranus and Taurus. Now I know sextiles are usually the weaker aspect. Not many people really pay attention to sextiles, but to me, it's still cute. So it's still worth mentioning. So I think this Transit is encouraging the exploring of our emotions, both in a logical and spiritual way. And the Sun in Pisces encourages us to be more open with our feelings and how we can explore them. Okay, next, we're going to pull a card for the solution. And as always, this is a energy that we can rely on and find grounding in during this time. We got two cards. First one being the third house which I think we got um, on a couple of videos already. So third house is a lot about communication, our immediate environment, what impacts us immediately, our surroundings, our thoughts, our mind. So I think this really comes in handy, especially this being a Mercury world delineation. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's very much about communication, our mental patterns, how we can release anything that doesn't serve us anymore or change the way we go through the motions, change the way we react to things, change the way we communicate things, um, change the way we relate with our immediate environment and our um, immediate circle of people. So I think that calls for a little bit of revision and communication and Mercury stationed direct not too long ago, but we're still post shadow period. So it's still kind of like not walking on eggshells, but treading lightly because obviously there's still, we're not completely out of the revision period yet. The second card that we got is Chiron, which, um, as we know as the Wounded Healer. It's an asteroid in astrology and it usually represents any triggers or past traumas that might be coming up in this lifetime and that we might have to deal with. Um, so being a full moon of, which is a time of culmination and releasing, I think we can really tap into our emotions, especially with the sun being in Pisces and that sextile that we have to Uranus and Taurus um, and the trine from the moon to Uranus and Taurus too. Like what are our ways that we can explore those feelings, explore those triggers, those traumas in a healthy and productive way in order to heal ourselves and be able to release what no longer serves us or release any kind of emotions that have expired or or we have gone through. So as with every full moon, I recommend our energy work services or hypnotherapy. It's a great way to cleanse our energetic field, 
to balance our energetic field and our chakras. Great way to possibly understand and work through emotional and physical difficulties as well. And I can also recommend hypnotherapy just because it is a type of way of going into your subconscious and analyzing patterns that might be adding to self-sabotaging ways. And it's a good, it's a good service and it's a good session to kind of start reprogramming ourselves from a subconscious point of view. Our recommended meditation for this week is going to be Rebecca's meditation for the full moon in Virgo with Mother Mary. Excellent, amazing healing meditation that's going to be happening on the day before the full moon. That's a Friday, February 26th, and it's going to be at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you can't make it live, don't worry. We send out a replay, usually hour, two hours after the meditation that has a 48 hour replay. So you can catch it at your own time and do it as many times as you want within those 48 hours. And you can get tickets on our website, liberateyourself.com. They are all $15. All right, guys, that is it for today. That's all for the full moon in Virgo that's happening on Saturday. I hope everybody has been having a wonderful week. As always, you can email us, DM us, call us at the shop with any of your spiritual needs. We got you. Um, feel free to leave any comments, concerns. How are you guys doing? Please let me know. I'm sending everybody much, much love, many, many blessings, and have a very happy full moon. Hypnotherapy, I like to think of it as just awareness focused inwards. Reprogramming your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind is really the control center of you. What do you think, feel, believe, and do? So hypnotherapy is good for everything, really, when you think about it. Um, it's good for physical ailments. Um, it's really good for chronic pain. Sleep, eating, uh, the habits that we have that just kind of run our daily process, hypnotherapy is excellent for being able to gauge those, being able to turn them up, being able to turn them down. Basically, essentially everything. The list goes on and on. It's good if you actually are somebody who's self-deprecating, are insecure, you want to boost your confidence. Um, it's good essentially to empower yourself in every way, shape, and form imaginable. And so if you want to think about life differently, feel life differently, or have different responses or beliefs, it starts within here. We reprogram there and you see everything and allow everything to show up differently in your life. So when should you get hypnotherapy? Well, there's a lot of times when you can get hypnotherapy. For instance, as soon as they feel that they have uh, either a habit or uh, a process that they want to adjust either greatly or in a minimal fashion. Also, when you're looking for a little assistance or push to get you to wherever you want to go. It's really about change. And so when you want to change, that's when you should get hypnotherapy.